It's the end of the political road for National Jun Yang, who has today announced he's standing down at the September election. The Auckland List MP has long faced claims about his link to the, links to the Chinese Communist Party, even accusations of being a spy. Jun Yang has also always denied such claims, but some of some are today questioning the timing of his resignation amid growing global tensions over China and Hong Kong. Nita Blake Person reports. Zhang Yang's resignation comes after nine years with the National Party, which have been controversial to say the least. A member of the Chinese Communist Party before moving to New Zealand, he admitted in 2017 to having taught English to spies to monitor communications on behalf of the government. Dr Young, come on. Yeah. Did you know you were teaching Chinese spies? If you, if, you if were teaching you. English to Chinese spies. Please, this is really important. No, hang on, hang on. Let me, straight, let me, let me make it clear. Answer to this? If, you, if you define those a cadet or students as spies, yes. Those links to the Chinese Communist Party and questions around his involvement with Chinese military and intelligence continued to plague him, but he has always denied accusations that he himself is a spy. I refute any allegations that question my loyalty to New Zealand. Despite his contentious past, Zhang Yang had recently been given a boost in the party rankings, jumping from number 33 to 27 on the list during a May reshuffle. Waikato University law professor Alexander Gillespie says that's unusual. It's certainly not something that would normally happen. Normally if you're rising in the ranks, it, it means that your fortunes are going well. And so normally people would sort of like build on that, not actually resign. That is unusual. It's unusual that he resigned when his fortune seems to be improving. And he says the timing is important. There's a lot of significant things happening right now internationally with regards to New Zealand and China and our relationship with them over the debate about Hong Kong. And so I think what's going on now is it's not so much about the merit of this man's placement with the Communist Party, but the way that it looks for national. You don't want to be too closely associated with any innuendo that could look bad upon them. Canterbury University Chinese politics professor Anne-Marie Brady agrees things were reaching a tipping point. Well, we can only ask um, Mr um, Young um, what's in his mind, but I do know that the internal pressure within National um, was becoming acute on this issue and the international discourse about this topic was also very intense. But National Party leader Todd Muller says that's far from reality. He today praised Zhang Yang, saying he served as a chairperson of Parliament's Education and Science Select Committees, as well as chairing the Governance and Administration Select Committee with distinction. And he's adamant there was no pressure from himself or Nikki Kay for Zhang Yang to stand down. Not at all. Uh, Dr Yang has been a, uh, a remarkable uh, MP over the last nine years, very passionate, a uh, great member of our caucus, and he's decided... Uh, you know, for his own family and uh, professional uh, reasons to uh, leave and uh, move on to new uh, adventures and, uh, uh, you know, we wish him well. In his resignation statement, Zhang Yang said he was proud to have been part of a caucus he believed was truly representative of the ethnic diversity that is modern New Zealand and was honoured to represent the Chinese community in Parliament. Keen to hear more about his reflections on his political career, we headed to his Epsom office today. I'm looking for Dr Yang. Yeah, no, he's not here. Okay, do you know where we can find him? No, he's not doing interviews. Mr Yang has been a somewhat evasive figure when it comes to English language media appearances, despite earning $190,000 a year as an elected official. His website claims he's a regular commentator on international and domestic affairs for local Chinese media, but just 200 metres down the road from his office, he fails to get much recognition. Dr. Zhan Yang is resigning from politics. Do you know much about him? Nothing. <laughs> That's it. I don't even know who that is, yeah. Do you know who Dr. Zhan Yang is? Sorry? Do Dr. Zhan Yang, do you know who he is? Oh, no, sorry, we oh. don't know, yeah. I, mean, I follow the news a lot, but I actually haven't heard of him. How about if I show you this picture? Any recognition of this man? Uh, can't help, I'm sorry. Are you familiar with Dr Zhang Yang? Uh, yes. Are you sad that he'll be leaving politics? Yes, I heard on the news. And what do you think about his resignation? Uh, I think if uh, for New Zealand's uh, future, uh, he stay in New Zealand is good for the relationship and the business.
New Zealand First Leader Winston Peters today welcomed Jan Yang's resignation. He said the National Party now had the opportunity to commit to not take any more donations facilitated by individuals with links to the Chinese Communist Party. Mr Yang will stay in his role until the September election. He's the third National MP to stand down from the party over recent weeks, following Paula Bennett and Anne Tolley. For Checkpoint, Nita Blake-Person.